Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Aquarius friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be part of our family, all right? All right. Let's get going, shall we? Now, my beautiful Aquariuses, I actually do not have your layout laid out yet. That's what I'm doing now, which I rarely do. I usually like to save time. It makes the readings go faster, but you know how that goes. So, just shuffling your pile now. Okay. Past energy present energy, possible future energy. What is going on with my beautiful Aquariuses? Oop, sorry. There's a little light to help you see better. Let's discuss your past, present, and future real quick. Let's slide these over just a little. Okay. Aquarius. Someone's got passion for you. You know? And you also feel like you've got new tasks, a whole new set of energy. But you are also dealing with a lot of deception, opportunists, and someone who's a puppet master, right? But you didn't let that stop you because you prospered and, be, you know, you gained your confidence and independence. And manifested yourself into Empress mode. You didn't get this way by just waking up at the beginning of your journey. No. You went through some serious shit. Alright. You learned, you know, to be more fertile, maternal, very successful, Right? Now, you do realize that regardless of what's between your legs, whether you're male or female, you have two energies, male and female energy. And you've got to level each of those energies up. And you leveled up the Empress, so rock on. All right? It could also mean you're also dealing with a Libra. Okay? That's your past energy. What's going on currently with you? Ooh, you're dealing with a bit of a player, huh, Aquarius? Okay, so, you're looking for a balance, harmony, and yet you're juggling a lot of responsibilities. But at the same time, you're waiting for the calorie to arrive because you... <laughs> but the, here's the thing, this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces is playing you hardcore. This is someone who's very romantic, adventurous, and moody. In my deck, he's the player card. He, him and the wands, Knight of Wands, reversed in my deck. In a regular deck, he's the, like, knight in shining armor, but in this one, he's not, okay? That's just how my deck is. But he pulled you into a third party, okay? There was a lot of heartache, jealousy, and loss. I could give you the rundown of the possible three ways that, you know, it could be one of each of your scenario and not to freak out on your partner, but you already know that, and I've said that for months, and I'm so tired of repeating myself. But you decided, yeah, you're not going to deal with this shit no more. You are your own cavalry. You are packing up. You are traveling away, okay, to make your own happy ending. Possible future. Okay. So you want to give your cup of love to someone who actually fucking deserves it. And you're starting a new relationship and 
beginning a new journey, or you're rekindling an old flame that, you know, you and them got separated due to unforeseen circumstances, and so you're wanting to, you know, start over. And sometimes starting over is good because you both grow and learn and change, and sometimes it's not good. But I think in this case, there has been a lot of growth, all right? So you're starting a new journey with that person wanting to give me a cup of love. At first, you were kind of like, you had so many choices, you didn't know what the fuck to do, and you had to make a decision. Otherwise, a decision was going to be made for you, and you don't like that option. You're also dealing with Sagittarius, but you're also balancing out, right? Cooperation. And you get your wish fulfillment. This is your card. The star card is you, my beautiful Aquariuses. This is way awesome. Okay. Things are looking up. Now, let's get you the fourth pile that'll tell you all the energy between past, present, and future. Because you know that this isn't set in stone when you get to the future. You see what's coming, and if you don't like it, you can change it. That's what's so great about it. About free will. I'm talking a little bit slower today because I'm exhausted. <laughs> So, I'm sorry. Alright. Ooh, alrighty then. Okay, somewhere along the line between past, present, and future. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bright, sorry. So, while the world's going to hell, you know, you learned your lessons and you're with that person. Who is your past person? Okay, or you've been thinking about the past person. You're saying you're letting go of all the drama, mental baggage, and letting it go. But there's a lot of secrets, and you need to, you know, there's a huge mystery. Not everything's being told to you, and you've got to seek within, pay attention to your intuition. You're dealing with um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, someone who is very responsible, determined, and, you know, it's a new beginning card. So if you get hungry, they know where to take you for food. They, they know the secrets of the trade. You're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a bit of a party girl, someone who's intuitive, devoted, and full of emotions. You have choices to make and crossroads. Do I go left or do I go right? All right. You're dealing with a boss lady who is riding your ass. This is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone who's materialistic, confident, and practical. This person hired you. They saw something in you that no one else, not even yourself, see in you. Okay? And they've been hard on you, but not because they want to be an asshat. And you're dealing with Taurus energy where you're waiting on news, advice, education, and truth. Okay, because while waiting, you feel hopeless, full of paranoia and anxiety, you know, kind of swords. But then there's also devil energy, you're dealing with Capricorn, so temptations, excess, and self-destruction. Someone's watching you. But you got a soft stalker. Okay, someone who loves you from afar. I had a lady who posted something about how all stalking is creepy. But that's the thing is that, like, if you like someone, of course you're going to watch them for a little bit and then you're going to walk over and talk to them, you know? You're going to find out what their interests are so you can break the ice. That's a soft stalker, okay? A heart stalker, which is probably what you're also dealing with here because these two are together, so you're probably dealing with a heart stalker. And someone who has nothing but toxic energy wants to keep you chained to them. So with these two together... Yeah, you're dealing with a hard stalker, actually. But you've got to weigh in your decision with this love. You know, you've, um, this could be someone who's different, you know. This hard stalker could be the past. Or the one between your person that you're going back to. And when you go, to, you know what I mean? Like, you were with them, and then you stopped being with them, went with someone else, and then you decided to end that toxic stalker 
bullshit there and go back with your husband or wife or whoever, right, from the past because you wanted to give it a shot again. So you dump the toxicity and you're being watched heavily, right? So going back, you made a decision to think about the past person with a little bit more empathy and love in your heart. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're looking to go back with your king. And you got the, the lover's card here. So someone's romantic, sex, and blinded by passion, a Gemini. Someone they love. I'm not going to go into detail on this one either. I always talk too much when I get to those cards. Alright. Now. Let's. Oh. Bottom of the deck. I almost forgot the bottom of the deck. Okay. So. You're done with a two of swords. Right. Decision. Dis difficult decision. Different views. Obviously. The weapon choice is horrendous. Especially because zombies aren't deaf. But. That's only zombie logic okay real world logic is just shoot and get it over with but you're very you're coming at things with different viewpoint you know and it is a difficult decision it's hard to leave someone that you love but is so toxic that they they just want to hurt you and you know that's bullshit and you can't fix someone Okay, just like you can't expect them to walk in and change you. Why would you want someone to change you? If you love someone, you'll make an effort to change yourself to be a better person. They'll make you want to be a better person. Okay, that's that's the problem with society is you get into a relationship with someone who's who's got so many issues and enough tissues that um, you just, you're like, oh, I can fix them. Put a bandaid on it. Oh, really? Put a band-aid on a fractured skull? Okay. What logic is that? Do you live in Blue Clues world? Like, you can't tell someone swipe or no swiping and expect them to listen. You can just, you know, sometimes you gotta let them live and let learn. Do you know what I mean? They make a bed, let them lay in it until they decide they want to make it again and change the way they view the world because you know most people they view the world as a half empty fucking cup and we all know that that's dependent on perspective it's like one man's trash is another man's treasure well one man's half empty cup is another man's half full cup This isn't going to look like a heart. I'm sorry. I don't have the layout. Okay. Now. Let's discuss this shit. This is card number one. This card here. Represents the central issue of your relationship. So you. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Because this is. This is their issue too. Like the beginning. Where there's a lot of competition, challenges, and persistence. Alright. You're both fighting each other. Or you're fighting other people to stay together. Okay. This card represents how you see the other person. You see them as someone who's very hardworking. You know, who deserves recognition for their, you know, their hard work and skills. Okay. This card represents how they see you. They see you as their Ten of Cups. Peace, contentment, and family. Okay. This card. Sorry, I messed it up. This card represents unknown influences on your relationship. So you don't feel like anybody's going to come. There's not going to be any success. Right? Right? It's unknown. But now you know that if you work together, you're going to succeed. It just doesn't feel like it at the moment. This card represents where you want the relationship to go. 
you, you're not getting what you need out of a situation. You want to get what you need. Yeah, you got everything you want, but you don't got what you need. And what you need is them. Okay? You need a good shag. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. There's more than just sex in a relationship, but you know what I mean. You want to be with them. You want it together. Okay? This, if I can pick it up. I can't pick it up. There we go. Okay. So this card here represents who can help your relationship. Okay, so you're struggling with a lot of burdens and responsibilities. The only one that can help you with your relationship is you and them. Maybe you need to share some of the burdens. Talk. You know, don't talk at them. Talk with them. Communicate. Listen to what they have to say. Okay, think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. This card represents the challenges in your relationship. Challenges is that you guys, there's a lot of paranoia, anxiety, and you feel hopeless. Like, it's not going to succeed. But that's the thing, is that it's, those are just in your head. Yeah, I know the past people have been tragically horrible to you but do you want to continue to project your past relationship on your future relationship does that make sense does that make sense to you to treat them as if they were the other person shouldn't they get a clean slate they give you one or maybe you're working with some a lot of trauma could be this Represents the outcome of your relationship. You're starting new in your relationship. New beginnings. Emotional journeys. Giving your couple of. So far, it looks really good. Doesn't look super bad. I hope this helps. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot. Alright? Love you, my beautiful Aquarius. Bye.